When you're by the ocean, you feel something. You feel how it's affecting you and how we depend on the ocean. Whether you live on the ocean and you're from a coastal community or whether you've never seen the ocean before until this journey, each one of us is connected to the ocean. The ocean is important because everything literally comes from the ocean, everything depends on the ocean. Without an ocean, this planet would not be habitable. It had a surface temperature of maybe 200 degrees, more like Venus. There would be no water that sustains life. There would be much less food, particularly some of the micronutrients we need for brain development. And it provides half of the oxygen we breathe. So every life function that you can think of depends on the ocean, not in an abstract way, but in a very real day-to-day -day way. One of the central themes of this summer's expedition is ocean literacy. And I think what we're trying to achieve with that objective is to get young people to really understand their connection with the ocean. How are the oceans changing? What's my relationship in those changes? And then what personal action do I start to make to contribute to ocean health moving forward? We change the climate by putting carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide dissolves in the ocean. It's a chemical reaction. And so this ocean acidification is already affecting uh, the pH and the biology of the ocean. We have experts on board who are ocean scientists and climatologists. And then, of course, Inuit knowledge keepers and experts who are coming at it through uh, an IQ worldview is, is essential to those conversations. We depend on the ocean and the sea, whether it be frozen ice or open water. We are always friends with people that are trying to protect or just as concerned of our waters and ocean as we are. I think the best way to develop ocean literacy is to spend time with the ocean. For me, and I think for most people, it starts with falling in love, right? You fall in love with the ocean and that makes you curious. You want to learn more about it. <laughs> so we're going to do a series of measurements of the physical properties of the water and also some biological uh, sampling. Humans, we are curious creatures, and I think science is a way of knowledge, is a way of understanding the world that uh, surrounds us. We use technology to observe, so we develop new instruments. For example, we have CTDs that measure temperature and salinity in the ocean. So you can, you can read the temperature. It was really interesting. I dealt with the depth tool that detected how deep uh, we could see light penetrating through the water. What's the pH of uh, the ocean here? C'est différent de simplement ce qu'on apprendrait dans une salle de classe. C'est beaucoup plus intéressant de parler des océans avec vraiment des spécialistes dans ce domaine-là et penser à vraiment des actions qu'on peut faire pour protéger les océans. If we stop now putting CO2 in the atmosphere and we wait, uh, the ocean has its own way of buffering um, all this CO2 that we put in. It, it will take it to deeper water, it will react with sediments and will go back to the uh, previous level. But if we keep emitting higher and higher CO2, it, it's going to be harder and harder. We're going to be living as youth in a world that's changing and it requires action, it requires ideas. How do we mobilize other young people? When we think about positive ocean behavior, like that's really what the end goal of ocean literacy is. I was amazed that just us collectively as a group, we were able to come up with some really awesome ideas. We can take what we've learned here, once in a life opportunity, once in a life learning, and we get people involved in the process of learning about the oceans. It's good, it's good, very good. When they learn more, I think, when we all learn more, it helps us to become a part of a movement that is changing our relationship to the ocean and is helping to um, fix some of the wrongs mm -hmm. and also to provide more benefit to all of us um, by engaging in a more productive way with our oceans. <laughs>